I've recently gotten started with doing telemetry with my APM setup and you'll notice this is the new 3DR radio. The kit comes with two of these. One of them will sit on your multi-rotor or your fixed wing and the other one will be with you on the ground at the ground station. So this a USB powers this guy and you'll see it's in discovery mode. And what I wanted to share in this video is my findings and kind of document the process that I'm going through to uh, make my telemetry more portable. In doing that right now I have this connected to Mission Planner on my MacBook and what I've been wanting to do is to go mobile. So this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 and on it I have this nifty app installed called Droid Planner. It's available for free in the Google Play Store and it's developed by a guy named Arthur Benneman with uh, several supporters. So Anyway, I highly encourage you to check it out. It's a pretty amazing app, but here's the problem. As part of the new 3DR telemetry kit, you get this, what they call, on-the-go cable. And this on-the-go cable will just plug right into your tablet. You'll see I'll go ahead and disconnect this. We no longer have power. And I'll hook it up to the Samsung Galaxy. But you'll notice there's no power came to find out that this Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 has no USB host controller. There's no way to make this work with my current version of Android. There may be a way around the problem with the cable. This is a Bluetooth serial module and if you look at the Droid Planner Wiki it talks about uh, using one of these. Now there are two suggestions. One's a, called a Blue Smurf from SparkFun and that's almost 50 bucks. This guy I found on Amazon for about $15. I'll definitely put a link below so you make sure you get the right one. It comes with both the module and a cable. Okay, so here's how this is initially going to work. It's going to have Droid Planner paired with the serial module, and the serial module will then be connected to our transmit, receive, power, and ground connectors in the telemetry module. And what's really cool about this setup is I'll be able to use the Samsung with Droid Planner as my ground control station but not have anything physically connected. Everything will be done wirelessly via Bluetooth. So I by no means have this figured out how I'm going to do it but what I'm going to do is at least talk you through the first part of what I've what I've done and then I'll do a follow-up video or maybe two that shows uh, the final setup. Okay so initially I'm going to go ahead and power this guy. Now Luckily I had these connectors that came with a, one of my LiPo chargers and so you'll notice that it's just a servo housing and I'm going to use a standard servo connector on this end and then on our module we'll notice uh, VCC and ground so I'm going to run so we have our red going to power and brown going to ground. Okay, you'll notice that our power supply, I have it set at 4.5 volts. This will run from 3.6 to 6 volts. So we've got that going. We have our leads hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You can see now that we're in discovery mode. Let me show you what I've been faced with constantly in Droid Planner. If I click connect. Disconnected. You'll hear the lady tell me that I'm disconnected. So right now it's trying to use the serial or the USB port and we're going to go ahead and pair with uh, the Bluetooth module. Now we're in our Bluetooth settings and you'll see this HC06 which is our module show up and by default the pin code for this module is one two three four so I'm gonna hit done and then I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see that we're paired. OK, here's what we're going to do next. I had to post in the Droid Planner forums and thankfully Arthur Benneman chimed in. I, I noticed several screenshots that showed the settings up here. Well, if you have a device that has physical buttons like this guy for your uh, menu or for your settings, they're actually down here. So, and you'll notice that the telemetry connection type is currently USB. We're going to change that to Bluetooth. And I'm going to just close out of this. 
Okay, so now it's configured to use Bluetooth. I'm going to hit connect and let's watch our LED at the same time. Connected. You can see that it said connected. Now we're constant. So that was the first challenge to overcome and I'm going to be trying to overcome two other challenges. One is this by default uh, communicates over 9600 baud and 3DR telemetry expects a minimum of 57.6 baud. So uh, I believe using an AT command we can change the baud rate of this guy. So I'll, I'll definitely be sharing how to do that. And then also we don't want to have this clunky power supply at the field. So I'm going to have to find a good way to power both the module and uh, the 3DR radio. So I just wanted to share where I am with that. Uh, hopefully you don't have to deal with all this. You can download Droid Planner on your Android device and hopefully have that on, on the Go cable work nicely. But if not, I just wanted to document this and share my findings. Droid Planner looks to be an awesome app. It's open source. Arthur's very involved in the community and helping out. So definitely encourage you to check it out. And until next time, thanks for watching.